Alright, let's try it again. Pick up where we left off. I'm sorry, my phone overheated. It's one thing after the other. But uh, this is your half bath downstairs. So the ones in there are also nine feet. You do have storage or a linen closet right here on the right. This goes into your garage. Just a standard, it might be a little bit oversized, two car garage here. So it does extend it out to the left and right a little bit. I got a lot of storage hanging places here. I'm sure all that will stay. All the shelving and stuff will stay. But yeah, just your standard two car garage. It's not epoxied. Water heater looks good. FHA compliant. It's even insulated, which is nice. Don't see a softener or a filtration system, but that's okay. All right, let's go upstairs. This is what you see as you walk in from the garage. And it does open up to a small loft up there as well. Uh, carpet's a little worn, but uh, still nice. <clears throat> Just minor scrapes and blemishes on the walls. Nothing major. Staircase railing, just minor wear and tear. Little things like that, but uh, still very nice. Um, it looks to be about nine feet on the ceilings up here as well. But it does open up to a loft. It has these three windows. Lit, plenty of light in. Uh, they did install a, a wall unit here. It's not plugged in. Obviously, we're not using it. But you'll see that's kind of common. A lot of people put a swamp cooler or a wall unit in there, in there as well, just to help with that. <clears throat> so you do have this nice little loft slash den as you come up. So when they built this, I'm almost positive this was an option for a fourth bedroom. So they could have closed this off. This is actually a closet back here, turned into storage. Good size storage. Yeah, so they elected to have a loft. All right, let's check out the guest rooms. Now, it does say in the MLS that there's three zones on the thermostat. It is Nest, which is kind of nice. It's all automated. You can control it from your phone. It adjusts as you walk by. It knows that you're home and stuff like that. But I only saw one AC unit. So usually if it's three different zones, it's gonna have three different units, but uh, maybe, maybe that is possible. I'm not 100% sure. All right, this is your laundry room slash storage, a little bit of storage off to the right. Oh, maybe not, just shelves in the back. Washer and dryer do stay, I did see that. Okay, these are your two guest rooms. Again, the carpet looks to be uh, probably what was installed initially. Good sized guest rooms though. Um, it's still in good condition, it's just not brand new. <clears throat> Small walk-in closet on this one. Even has its own window. A little extra light in there. Okay. That's one guest room. And then just to the right of that, you're gonna have your second guest room. It looks to be pretty much the same size. The ceilings up here are definitely a little shorter. Maybe seven to eight feet. This one probably doesn't have a walk-in. Just a slider, yep. <clears throat> See how it's swaying a little bit? Just missing the, uh, the tracks. Those are real simple, you can get those at Home Depot. All right, so the guest bathroom upstairs, full bath, should be at least, yep, full bath. Not too upgraded, you do have the upgraded counter, some sort of granite there. This is a, it's a tile, it looks like tile, but it's actually linoleum. So it's a linoleum tile look-alike. And then this seems to be how the house was built as well. Nothing upgraded in there, but it is clean. Recessed lighting. And that's your small bathroom. All right, let's go into the master, straight across. And that's what that looks like. This is going to be a linen closet, I believe. 
Yep, so you have a linen closet upstairs and downstairs. And then into the master. Same height in the ceilings, all recessed lighting. Nice thermostat, same carpet. And it's gonna be the same flooring in the bathrooms. This is gonna be your walk-in closet with your access to the, uh, to the attic there. I do have some shelves built in down below and that looks to all be installed there, shelving as well. Hmm. Okay. Decent size, no door to the bathroom. Same type of uh, granite that you saw in the other guest's bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> around the tub as well. It's nice. Plenty of lighting here. Lifts over, looks the backyard. Don't think these are self-closing. I could be wrong. No, they're not. Okay, same flooring. storage. Looks like they installed those shelves as well. Okay, that's it. Sorry I got two videos on this one. Phone overheated on the first one. So let's go run back downstairs. Get those sent over to you. That's what it looks like from up top. to the living room and kitchen. Again, the backyard is beautiful. It's very nice. You got tons of fruit trees, tons of rose bushes. I bet when everything is in bloom, as long as you don't have crazy allergies, it's beautiful for everyone to spend a lot of time out there. And I like the, uh, the brick wall that they built and then your little courtyard area back there as well. All right, that's it for this one.